in Kotlin, you can also omit the closing parentheses and open parentheses of a condition if it's a one-liner. So let's say if the age is greater than 10, you can actually just write print ln is greater than 10. So let's go ahead and change this actually to 11 and we run it. We're going to see that the output in the window down here is the age is greater than 10. Now, if for some reason we change this to nine, notice how this still runs, yet we don't get an error, but we don't see that the age is greater than 10 because a single line if statement can now just be printed without parentheses. However, this should be often avoided as it can be confusing even if I were to do something like this. If I were just to type this, just based upon the indentation, you would think that hello there would not be printed. But however, hello there is not part of the if condition. The highlighted area you see here is part of the if condition. This print print line hello there is not part of the of the if condition. So if you know that you're going to have code here, it can be very confusing. So it's usually often better to just go ahead and provide the braces as it's much more readable. And when you're writing code, you should be trying to write code that you can understand in the future. Now, one thing I did mention for a quick second was the word one liner or words one liner. What that means, you can actually put this all in the same line here. Now, if I were to run this, it'll compile and everything, and we'll just see the words hello there. And that's because, if we hello there, that's because the age is nine and we're looking for age greater than 10. So let's change this to 11. And then if we were to run this, this single line of code is actually pretty easy to read. So now if you're just gonna write a single line, this is very readable and we know that this line below it, hello there, is not going to get executed. So if you're just writing a single line, it's very often you'll see this and you can remove the parentheses, the, the brackets as I've done here. And if again, we're gonna run this, we're gonna see the two things here, the age is greater than 10, you drop this to nine, and we're only gonna see the words hello there because the if condition has not been met. Now you can also take this a step further. If you know that your if else condition might be very short, you can actually all do this on one line. So print line, and we could say, the age is less than 10. And so we can actually have the entire if else condition right here on a line. And it's very small, it's very easy to read. And so if we're to run this, again, we're now going to see down at the bottom, the age is less than 10, and then the words hello there. If I change this to 17 and we run it again, we're now gonna see that the age is greater than 10. And of course, we're still gonna see the words hello there because it's printing its own statement. So you can definitely create if else statements on a single line and it's advised to do it only when they're a single line. It's also good to mention if your else statement becomes very, very long and you have to continually scroll and there's just a lot of text over here. So if I were to say my content went way over here and in the editor, I had to kind of look over, you'll see this little gray line here. This gray line is kind of the recommended line break. So if you had a bunch of text and I'm just gonna type a bunch of garbage in here. If I had this line that went beyond here, this recommended recommended line is where your line break should be. So if it goes past that line, you should probably consider breaking this into a traditional if else statement, which we can just put brackets there and the IDE will apply them for us. Now it's much easier to read. It doesn't require that I do any horizontal scrolling and makes it easier to understand the code by just looking at it.